one, two, I roll past, hit his head, hit his neck, knee, pass up, follow up, pull him down to my height, and then I go to this position. Hello, my name is Sean Elders. I'm the founder and chief instructor of Elders Academy of Martial Arts. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel. Today we'll be working on single stick trapping. We're gonna go in, go in and out what they would call, some people call it a compound trap. Um, which means to do more than one, okay? Uh, com I think of it as a, like a compression or a, a, a pressing of, of multiple attacks, okay? Sometimes the person is going to check you, okay, when you do the attack, all right? Um, so we're gonna go through and talk about what takes place and how we're gonna handle this. Um, I think off, off both of them, I think we have about three options for each one I'm gonna teach for this. Okay. All right, so now this is what we're going to do. He's going to do the number one. Let's go ahead and do the wide. Okay. So I'm going, I'm checking it here. I check here. Okay, I'm going, to, I'm going to go into this position. Now, once he checks me, now I have many options. Okay. Most people think, oh, now i got to start over. Okay. So we go one, two, and I'm just going to cut right here. Okay. And I'm going to chop, and then I can follow up. With, and I want you to kind of be—that's uh, the great thing about Kali is that that you it shouldn't be this concrete technical thing. I want you to express yourself. Okay, every single time you first get the basics of the the, uh, the, the drill or strategy. Okay, down. Then we we start to explore our options based on what he does. Okay, unlike uh, some martial arts where they, they, they're like doing choreographed movements, we have to be able to learn how to adapt and flow. Kali is all about flowing. He's been number one, I go to this position, I check and I chop, okay? And I come here, go to the outside, boom, whatever, okay? There's many different things that I can do from here. I'm gonna, but the whole idea here is that I want you to go here and I'm gonna, I'm going to slice okay then from there who knows what you're gonna do but I go one and then two and then I'm gonna cut one two cut okay and, and then from here I can go to this side see but I want to show the options okay I want to show the options I want you to see I want you to flow sometimes you may go here I go to this position I chop then I step back and do some sort of combination okay I want to leave that open to you. All right, let's go ahead and practice that. We're going to go inside of here. He's going to give me number one. I'm going to come to this position. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hand and come over here, and I'm going to grab this hand, and then I'm going to pull and strike. Okay? Let's we'll do it from this side. We go one, two, three. Okay? And then I'm going to grab this hand right here. And I'm going to pull. It's a bladed object, boom, there goes his head, okay? If it's an impact weapon, I'm going to try to smash his throat here, okay? And I can follow up with strikes, okay? Then I can go and do, like, an arm lock here. See that? Arm lock on the stick. See that? Okay? You go one, two, three, okay? Follow up. Then I can go into this position here. I can also go into a chicken wing, for instance, or if he straightens his arm out, I'm going to go into an arm bar right here. See this? Okay. One, two, I smash. Follow up. Okay. Let's do it on this side. Smash. Follow up. Then I'm going to bring my arm, my stick hand underneath, bring it over the top. See that? One, two, smash, follow up, Ooh, bring it around, and then 
I'm going to go into this position here. One more time on this side. One, two, follow through. Okay. Bring it around. And then bring it into this position here. You can do either double palm up or one palm down. It's better to do double palm down. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and work it. Now the last option we're going to do from inside of this room is we're going to go here, we're going to go one, we're going to go to this position. Now what I'm going to do is something that's a little bit more advanced, but it's great, it's part of an interview drill. This is called the wave. So I'm going to throw my elbow over the top and I'm going to smash, okay? Then I'm actually going to come on this side and then I take his back, see? There's all sorts of things I can do in the locks like this or whatever and smash the wind plate. okay? So we're gonna go one, two, okay? I'm gonna do the wave and smash it right in his eye socket or across the forehead, okay, here. I roll, pass, here, okay? I can hit his kneecap while I'm at it, smash him like this, then I can just grab him by the throat, pull him this way and crush his wind plate. So I hit here, pass, hit his kneecap, I hit a couple times and then I can come behind him. There's also this one right here where I choke him. I can pull right here and I smash his whip like and keep him as a hostage. One, two, pass, strike. One, two, three. So when I come into this position, pull him. Just like that. See that? Hit. Do it again. Boom. I wave, hit him. When I do that wave, notice my elbow is on top of his arm, okay? Then I'm going to take my puño and pass his arm down, hitting the kneecap. I'm going to check with my arm here, okay, smashing in the kneecap. Then I can do a Eco or something like that. Then I can pass the stick across. I can either pull him this way or bring the stick behind my neck. So then I can do something with the extra hand. If I do this one, I want to pull him to the ground. Okay, and then end his life, hold him to a position. Okay, I'm going to snap his neck, I'll just pull it to the side. Pull up. Okay, where I can strain over and break. One more time. Pull, hit, pass, hit the kneecap, finish up, come to the back. I go here, or I go here. A lot of times the reason why we want to hold him like this is because we have other people to worry about. Okay, we're looking around. I can snap his arm from here, I can crush his windpipe from here, okay? A lot of times we want to keep our hostage, all right? We want to get information out of him, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and train that in practice. Next, I'm going to show you a little bit about uh, some variations inside of this, okay? He gives me a number one, I come to this, I roll, I pass, I hit the kneecap, I follow up, okay? If he's a taller than me, I'm going to pull him down to my height and then bring the stick behind the head. Okay? See that? Notice my palm, I'm palm down on this as I'm going across. If I don't want to break, if I want to keep him but I want to cause some pain, I just put that across the chin line. Okay? And it hurts real good. Okay? Hurts good for you, hurts bad for him. Okay? So we go to this position, we go one, two, I roll, pass, hit his head, hit his neck, knee, pass up, follow up pull him down to my height, and then I go to this position. Okay, if I was Ryan, thank you. Go ahead, Ryan, come on in here. Okay. So, same aspect. He feeds me. I come to this position. He passes. I go to here. I smash. Hit his knee. I follow up. I go to this position. I'm going to pull him down to my height. I go to this position, and then I, I've got him locked up. Okay. See how he's off balance? Anytime I can break his spine, I can come into this position break his solar plexus, you know, I could do all sorts of nice little, mean little things to him right here, okay? Drive my elbow down on his solar plexus here, okay? Don't forget I'm snapping his arm, all right? Many, many things you can do. I come to this position, I pass, I smack him in the head, his kneecap, pass, do my high line, I'm gonna drive this down to this position, and then I come here, see? And I break his arm. Okay, that's how you do it with a guy that's higher, taller than you. Okay. What we're going to do now is I want you to practice all three options. Okay. So sometimes you're going to come in, one, two, I'm going to cut the neck. Sometimes I'm going to come in, one, two, 
I'm going to lock sow or pull hand, follow up, go into my lock position if I want. Okay? And then sometimes I'm going to come here, pass. Boom. See that? Okay? So play around with it. Sometimes the whole idea is that it's about sensitivity. Okay? Sometimes one is going to feel better at that moment in time than another. Okay? One of the things I go when I go here depends on how he checks me. Does he check me hard? Does he check me where he won't let me go further past, but he's not pushing? If he pushes, that's when I want to do this one. See? If he checks me and he stays in, in the spot, I'm going to rotate this way. Okay? If he goes to this position and he checks me and maybe he's pushing downwards, I'm going to roll over the top and go here. So. The idea is to learn how to adapt inside of this, okay? This is all what we call attribute building, okay? These are exercises uh, in, in sensitivity, not just technique, okay? Um, that you may, in a combat situation, you may just use one little piece of this in a fight, okay? It's not about going through this whole routine. That's not really realistic. That's not what we're aiming for. We're aiming for attribute building. We're aiming on building skill, okay, and getting tacked. You're getting the tact of, 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 of the, the spider sense, the touch. He responds, he does something, I do something, okay? I find my avenue, I find my pathway through this situation, okay? And that's what we're looking for. So let's go ahead and go through all three options, and let's work it. So now what we're going to do, I'm going to talk a little bit about the energies of these three options, okay? Besides the, our entry of when he gives me a number one, I check and I go in and I go for this this uh, punyu thrust. We're just gonna we're just gonna go straight to the punyu thrust. Okay. We're gonna talk about the sensitivity that you need to have, and you need to be able to feel what direction and what what should I do. I got students asking me, what should I do? How do I know which one to do? Well, it's all about what feels the best at that moment in time. It's all about energy sensitivity. If he pushes towards me, I'm gonna pull and strike. Okay. If he uh, pull, pulls down, I'm going to wave, okay? And if, I, if he holds the position or if I feel his energy pushing a little bit off to, the, to the, his left, I'm going to cut. Or if he just holds the position, I can cut. Or a mixture of those. It just depends on where your body's going, where, what feels best at that moment in time. But the idea is, is that you start to build up that spider sense to feel and know what direction to go in, okay? So now we're gonna move on to the next one, okay? So when he gives me a number two, I'm gonna, we're gonna go back to the, what we were starting on before. I'm gonna hit and check, and I'm going in here. He, this time he checked me with the outside gate, okay? This is what we call the outside gate. I'm gonna pull and go straight down, cutting, if it, I'm cutting at the neck, or if it's an impact weapon, I'm breaking the collarbone, okay? And then from there, I can trap this hand and then follow up with an attack, okay? Now, if, if he checked when I go into this position and he checks me here, see? I'm going to go into this position, okay? I have, right now I can do the slicing like we did with the other one, okay? Or if he checks me here, I can actually check this hand and it almost looks like a JKD trapping or a Wing Chun trapping and I come in this way. Let's go off this, this angle. Okay, so I go one, two, three, and then I check. Notice my elbow is, it's keeping his elbow out. I'm behind his elbow, okay? And I can drive and I can I can go do a couple. In trapping and in, in calling in and JKD, we also do what they call a foot trap. So he gives me that attack, I'm gonna check my, seeing where I'm putting my foot on his foot, that keeps him from moving backwards, okay? Which will most likely happen in a situation when if you try to trap them and they, they are not gonna just sit there, they're gonna try to move away, right? When you, it makes sense. Once you start doing stick fighting and stick sparring, you'll understand that sometimes you're gonna have to, when you do the trap, you have gotta give the right type of pressure when you're gonna move in and go into Corto Mono range. So he gives me that number two, I go into this position, he checks me, I'm going to apply pressure behind his elbow and trap. We'll do it on this side. Okay. So we go one, two, check, and trap. Okay. Notice my elbow is behind his elbow. 
prying it close. I'm giving him pressure. I'm also stepping on his foot and I'm going to then give him the puño. From there, once I stun him, I can follow up with attacks until he know he's no longer a threat. Okay. So the first one I'm going to have you do is he gives me the number two. I go into the trap. He checks me and I'm going to, he's going to go in the inside sector. I'm going to cut down. Okay. Then this hand can go, go across like that. I pull this hand back. And I'm gonna go and, and give it to him. Okay. Again, this side, inside sector, boom. What I mean by inside sector is his hand, his hand is in the inside sector. I pull down and go to the eye socket, temple, or neck, or the collarbone. Then this hand goes from here, it waves around and checks both hands as I follow up to whatever I want to do. Or I could go from this position, I can also go to the neck do some headbutts, whatever I want to do from there, okay? The second one we're going to do is he's going to check me on the outside sector. In other words, his hand's now on the outside of my hand, okay? I step on the foot. I'm going to pry my elbow in. I'm going to slap down, and I'm going to give him the elbow here. There's many things I can do from here. This is probably one of the most, or also add some headbutts in there too, okay? So those are the first two we're going to work. Okay, so we're going to I'm going to kind of demonstrate and explain a little bit more about one of these uh, options. Okay, so we go here. We're going to go one, uh, two. So I go to this position here. Okay, um, actually it's going to be the checking one here. Okay, no, it actually is the outside sector. When I go to this position, I drop down. Okay, and I'm going to. See this hand? This hand's going to swivel like this. I'm going to trap this for a moment just so I can get a couple hits to the kneecaps, to the head, okay, maybe the, the, the elbow here, and follow up real quick, okay? So, from here, gotta be running the thing. I come to here, one, two, I swivel, okay? I can even smash the hand here, you see that? As I pull through, boom! knee, head, okay? And then I can follow up with whatever type of nice follow-up I want to do, okay? But the idea is that I want to, I'm trapping, okay? These are these are types of traps that we're doing inside the, the Filipino martial arts single stick, okay? One, two, I'm trapping the foot, don't forget about that. I hit the head. This hand swivels. Sometimes what we do is we like to grab the groin, or we grab the belt line here, okay? And I can trap, see that? Okay, and I can do all sorts of neat little things here if I want to. But the idea is that it's kind of like uh, it, it, you're rotating your hand here, and just rotating here just to get be able to, if you're, you hit here, hit the hands, you're following up. And it's just creating, giving you a moment. That's all this, the idea behind this is. You're giving it a moment, okay? So let's go ahead and train that. Thank you. 